Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review, and this one's on uh, Viserac, uh, Volterac, and Rapperac from 2005, of course. So, on the front of the manual entry I have for well, Volterac here, we have a picture of the set that there is above him standing on some webs above Tom at True and of course, the large Bonk logo and Viserac Votarac there, and Lego logo and set number eight seven four two. Oh, also, a little story synopsis that there is <coughs> advertisement for the Bonk Two Legends of Metro Nui movie and hint of Bonk Three movie, and then. Add for a Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. And then advertisement of the three tight set. It's from the time, of course. And then advertisement of all the Toa Hidika. And then advertisement for all the Viserax and also this one, this one, of which next, next throwback Thursday. And then how to use the code on the Rituka Spinner used for the Kanoka Club, and also how to launch the Rituka Spinner and the feature of it. And then the one half of the combiner instructions, or well, of the combiner model instruction. And then how to put it back in the canister, and then the last filming steps. First that is the red one, a uh, Vol Volterac, of course. Well, obviously, and of course, like most of the years, same bill as all the Viseracs, but in this case is a uh, red and orange, fitting to the a uh, red top that kind of range, of course. So, like as for the uh, front pinchers here. And of course, this same feature as all the Viserax tend to have, but however, these uh, little pinchers here, kind of unique shaping to them, which kind of exclusive to this set, but also in the Viserac Temple set, uh, playset that there was. As well, only other set that was used on, of course. And then as for the uh, back like head part, which each Viserac was is all distinctively shaped for that. But whereas for Volterac here, the only other set this was used on was in the Battle of Metro Nuit playset on the Grand Gold Viserac, but in gold for that. It also does have, and like all the Viseracs have the uh, Borak eye teeth, but in, but in this case in dark green. Kind of reminiscent of the red Vaki from the year prior, of course. And of course, the main feature with this and all the Viseracs is pinch on the back part and they pinch together. And then, and obviously, like most of the set, like all the sets of this year, 2005, is have a large spot for the Rutuka spinner for that. So you can. Take this rip cord, stick it into there, and then pull it hard enough. And oh wait, didn't take off. Let's try again. Of course, quite fun that is, obviously. And also on the sides of it are supposed to be the a little Matorian Universe uh, numbering for that. Can't find it on this one, but whatever. And then, and as for his front, this one's front limbs is, had these Toamata slash Throbot limb pieces, but in orange, which first time in this color for that. I go down to the hand connector, and then to a foot piece in red, of course, and then as, and of course, if I open this up, is how all the Viseracs are built like is on this little technic kind of piece holding everything on to it. And then some bits holding 
this little metric connector with for just for the front limbs and and of course a witch holding a blocky waist it's holding that and then have the uh, Toa Metru leg armor, but and also these extended uh, can connector pieces, which are kind of like these ones, but there's three holes instead of two. And also, first ones to be like fully like enclosed on the joints or filled in on the joints. And of course, these carried on to like all the sets afterwards. Well, until the update versions in 2008 with the Fantoka, of course. And but whereas for Votarak here in particular, has these in orange for that. Then Toa Metru limbs in, uh, or in red, and then and again the foot pieces in dark red, of course. And that's about it with Votarak here. And now on to Rock-A-Rack. And of course, like all the rest of the Zeraks, same build as no, but with very few unique things to it. Like the pinchers right here, of which only set to ever use these kind of pieces, which never been used in any other sets for that. And the exclusive uh, head back piece of which quite uniquely shaped it, but kind of stone fitting, of course. And also does have the Borok eye teeth, but in trans dark blue, like all the Metru Nui uh, stone characters have. And <coughs> but also does have the double connector here in uh, brown, good to use for mocking, and also with the and of course have the accent color of light red or Bata red of course not sure why I use it in this set when it could have been tan but whatever or but at least it's still good to have anyways like you have the Toa Mata and slash the robot arm piece but in that color which we also got to see on Max Lowe's two years later and then also the uh, foot pieces, but in brown, which good to use for mocking. And then for the back legs of which, same limb pieces in red, in the like red color, of course. And then also the Vaki limbs in brown, like we saw on the brown Vaki from the year prior, and also the foot pieces in brown again. And of course, like all the Viserax, same feature. And so now on to the final word. So overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for how they were, like, at least, which as for Rock-A-Rack, do get a couple of, do have some exclusive a piece for the uh, pinchers, of course, even though Vaporak, Votorak here, uh, which didn't get stay exclusive for long, even though that was, a couple of pieces were used in the playsets at the time as well. And of course, they do have some, they also work as good parts packs for uh, orange, light red, dark red, and brown, of course. So, and of course, and still for the uh, eight to nine dollars that they were back in 2005 still quite good for how it is but well regardless of inflation and such now and also although for Volterac the color scheme quite fitting to the uh, fire elemented characters but not sure why there's red to uh, Roparac but at least kind of but not sure why but whatever But at least it was kind of a one-off thing, which we do see sometimes throughout LEGO, of course. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. 
And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.